Well, here we go. Back to Road Rage and we'll be going for a love job. We're trying to finish up the third um, thingy so that we can get a new neighborhood. Um, just to let you know. Okay, so anyway, um, so we're at Rover Lovejoy. I talked about the Christmas church party of the deacon. The, the third one is the soul. It's the one with the soul. When Bart sells the soul. Because Reverend Lovejoy decides to lead his uh, sheep was a sheep in the flock. Give me a bike that's two, you know. Together, let us spread the word of God. Come and ride in the Lord's chariot. Please take me to Jitter Joe's suffering, friend. You're riding with the Lord now. Vishnu, here I come. So anyway, uh, the first hymn, In the Garden of Pita. No! Sparks and Milhouse trick them into, um... And they went forth into the world, and they were happy. Thank you for your strong service. Perhaps we can do business in the future. Follow me, and ye shall be saved. Yeah, time for some mass destruction, man. Oh, that's super. So anyway, um... Reverend Lovejoy guilt tricks. Wheelhouse into confessing that he and Bart the ones who takes those hemp sheets. So anyway, they they talk about their soul. Mel says he didn't want her checking on his soul. But you know, Bart doesn't hear anything saying that. Souls are no good. Repent your sins and ride with God, friend. Just get me out Basically, of here. they're like, right. I'll pay All right, then. Basically, they're like, let the love drive makes them clean out the bites. And Bart dissuades the soul thing, saying, that's just something to scare kids into being good. Cockroaches turn me on. Look, we don't need to get in there. This car is hard to maneuver. Ain't got all day. Hey, yo, Jack, you just cool as another high speed convert. See you around. Mark. I see you first. Well, if it isn't another member of my flock. Hi, Reverend. Sure could use some divine intervention here. I'm so tired of all this rushing around. Take me to Rancho and relax. Verily, I say, gotcha. So anyway, um, Bart actually sells his soul, thinking that it's fake, but what he doesn't realize is that his soul is real because Bart, because automatic doors won't recognize him. Um, you can't blow breaths, and a lot of, and the pets hate him. Bart realizes that maybe Mills is right, the, the soul does exist, so he tries to buy it back, but Mills wants, what is it, $500 for it? Or $50 for it. Here we go, safe and sound. We need to drive there, we expect to make any money. Let's go! Uh, four sermons and a funeral to give today. Take me to the best mansion. Sounds good to me. Yeah, that's weird how Lisa said it by name. I thought she would say, normally I wouldn't drive in a, ride in a car like yours. But anyway, so anyway, Bart is stupid. At the same time, that that's the side plot was that Mo realizes that he's losing business. Well, that wasn't perfect. Anyway, so, um, Mo realizes he need to get money, he needs to make things into a family restaurant. To make it, his place into a family restaurant. So he does. I am truly of the chosen one. Finally! 
Stonecutter's Lodge, so we can chart the course of world events. Have no fear, God will protect us. So, anyway. Oh dear God, what have I done? How ironic you say that. Does this wreck go any faster? We're trying, we're trying. Oh, getting a little closer to God. Careful. Here you go. Thank you, fair citizen. Go this way. It's not Sunday, is it? No one. So anyway. So anyway, uh, he then learns that he can't do the job because it means having to smile all the time. And of course, Homer tells Mo that the only reason why Mo was losing money because he and the other regulars are, you know. Special police business. I tell you where I'm going, but then I'd have to tell you. Do not worry, my child. Really? I'll show you. Really? Look him. Anyway. So back to the Bart story. So Bart tries desperately to get back his soul after Lisa makes a prayer at Mo's. Thing, a restaurant. She taunts Bart by saying, "How first you have a soul." So, so Bart, so Mel, uh, there, thirty-seven hundred. Sign from God. We'll see about that. Not bad though, for the for this one. So anyway, um, so basically, River, so basically, Bart. Thanks for his soul back, but Merlehouse sold his soul for Pogs. And then Comic Book Guy tells Bart that he sold his soul hey, hey, right that very right. morning. And and Bart prays that he needs his soul back. And Lisa was the one who bought the soul. Taking pain on Bart. So I need I need a Reverend Lovejoy like move to get the next neighborhood. Alright, so we're ready to go with Apu and this is his episode. The episode I'm doing is the one when he is revealed to be an illegal immigrant. This story starts where when a bear walks into Evergreen Terrence's neighborhood, scary, especially scaring Flanders and his flock. So basically, Homer complains about the bears, even though it's the first time that there is a bear in the neighborhood. So anyway, he decided to have a a mob. Must be robbed more than four times while I am driving around today. Get in the car, please. I have many places to go today. Yes, big please. Hey, man, can't live on heavy metal alone, can he? That is okay with me. Later, dude. So anyway, um. So anyway. They talk to Bear quickly by saying, We're here, we're queer. We don't want any more bears. We're here, we're queer. Bears. Another satisfied customer. You totally rock. I am having so much fun. Home for the mildly interesting. This better be good. Get ready for the ride of your life. So, anyway, um. We're trying, we're trying. So anyway, um, so anyway, Quimby makes a bear tax. Oh, I must hurry to the next customer. Oh, and say that's a new record. The meter has been running since I saw you. Just get me out of here, dude. Here we go. Service to you. Indian. Good driver? No, I've seen that one thing. 
Oh, so anyway. Take me to Rancho Relax. Here we go. So anyway, but the bear tracks. They're all angry about it, even though it's like five dollars on every bill. So anyway, Quimby doesn't understand what's going on. They want to get rid of bears, but they don't want to pay tax. So basically you can say say that all of the taxes are high because of illegal immigrants. Said in a few weeks there'll be a motion to banish all legal immigrants in town. So basically, this really is huge because Uder gets bad melt for being an immigrant. Leave up any, leave up any. You need to drive faster if you expect to make any money. Right. I am having so much fun. Take me to the mayor's house. How come I don't get a house? That is okay with me. So anyway. But anyway, Willie stands up for Uter. But Skitter says, please, Willie, the kids want to pick on someone their own size. Since when is Skinner so... Since when is Skinner so anti-immigrant or something like that? So anyway, Lisa, after hearing how Uter is treated, is very disgusted, saying that everyone came to America as an immigrant. And Grandpa tells the story that he isn't from the country, he's from an old country, which he doesn't remember. Well, it's Grandpa, what do you fucking expect? Thank you, come again. See you around, dirtbag. The doctor has been running since I saw you. Would you mind taking me to the stone cutter's lodge? Get ready for the right of your life. So anyway, what do we want So anyway, Anyway, Grandpa says that they moved to the new country and moved to the new home. Literally, the Statue of Liberty, even though that was to represent the American whole country. And late. You're fine. Thank you. Come again. That was 40 knots over the sea. Lisa. Get in the car, please. I have many places to go today. Normal. So anyway. Um... Farmer, but that Homer still wants to be the anti-immigration. What are you doing? Oh, I think I can go this way. Yeah. So anyway, no, no, no. So anyway, so when Homer learns that a crew is an illegal immigrant, at first Homer shows no signs of being near a crew, saying, "I am going to miss you." So anyway, Homer and Bart. So anyway, um, after, after Marge talks about her concerns about the immigrant yeah. policy, Apu tells the story that he actually lived in India and graduated from Thomas College in Caltech. Cal 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 no. Sorry, but you're Got a new neighborhood, though. Well, I gotta go for a new neighborhood. Especially with the next level being so high up. So anyway. So anyway, Apu tells um, them the story that he forgot to renew his student visa because he liked the U.S. so much. He, hey, he was hey, going to work hey, at the hey, Quickie hey. Mart so that he, he could have enough money to pay off his student loans. So anyway, if the if the bill passes, if the bill passes, that means that Apu will have to end up being moved out of the country. Well, thank you very much, Mr. I'm too good to ride the bus. I hope you succeed in your exhaustion. So, anyway, Apu goes to Fat Tony, the power plant location. That will be the next location. Homer tells Bart, well, Homer then, when Apu tries to be American, he catches up and all that, and has like a New Yorkese accent or something like that. Apu tries to make the charade, run the charade if you will, but he fails miserably. And Homer feels sorry for Apu, and, said, and decides to try to teach him everything about the U.S. that he knows, but of course Homer doesn't know too much. 
but at least she decides to teach that Pooh anyway. And if Pooh takes the immigration test with many other people like Akira, Luigi the Italian chef, and even Mo. It seems that Mo, some pe people who call out illegal immigrants are hiding something in themselves. So, of course, Mo takes a Pooh then is told to take the oral test, meaning getting a question, what was the cause of the Civil War? He said so many things that that could be costly. And the guy just says, just say slavery. And so Pooh says that. And Pooh is fed it with a barbecue that he's now an American citizen. And then they decided to say no on 24. But unfortunately, it seems like all, all the people at home were part of the only ones because the proposition passed with a 95% rating. And then Scarce Keeper Willie just got for the time being. Auto. Oh, they got an auto episode. Oh, that's marriage. Okay, his marriage. Well, this will be the last auto episode that will do. Um, so basically, auto, um, you know. Yeah, time for some mass destruction, man. Chill, dude, you'll get there in time. So anyway, um, So anyway, um, so Otto plans to get married to his girlfriend Becky, and it's all videotaped by the kids after they get videotapes in lieu of geography, the geography budget. So anyway, Otto and Becky get married in the Simpsons' backyard, but of course Bart doesn't tell March about it. March says, how are we going to hold the wedding? Well, you still have much of a Pooh's wedding thing in here. In the backyard. Okay, the elephant. just to say that they disapprove of the wedding and leave. And then when Otto has a metal rock band play for him, Becky's upset because she feels like Otto's selling the music ahead of her. His music in front of her. So Marge tells Rancho Relaxo. You got it, dude. March tells Becky that he has to decide oh, between yeah. his music and, and of course, Becky. And guess who he chooses? His music. Becky feels left out. So, Bart decides to offer Becky the use of their house. March then tells Bart, remember to talk about volunteering to do things without telling people? Boy, he coming down. And Bart and Homer even tells her that remember to talk about not interfering in anyone else's wedding. So, could you please stop running us across? So the auto, ah, the truck. The seeds are getting choppy. Or crusty. So anyway, long story short, that um, Becky Becky feels that Marge learned from Patty and Thelma that she's planning to usurp Marge as head of the household with Homer and the kids. So anyway, Marge hey, confronts hey, her and hey, then hey, sent to an asylum. 
And even though she says some stuff, she's deemed insane. So basically, she escapes from the institution, luckily, and then converts Becky. And Becky does tell her the truth that she was trying to usurp her. Usurp her. This is a transit town. Well, I'm ready to go for Simpsons Road Rage, and back we go. We start with the nuclear power plant televised. So Homer will be go first, and Homer. This episode will be Homer in Japan. Um, tell you all about it later. Go to the left. USA! USA! Bernie, what are you doing here? What? I can't remember. Oh well. Wow, right! I promise I'll try my best not to throw up. Boring. Now you great or really great? Wow, I don't feel so good. Where'd you next? To the power plant, please. Ah, those turbines are like poetry in motion. Careful, don't sit on my nachos. Well, anyway, we learned that Homer... Um... Oh, all right. What clever driving. Bravo. Homer has a robbery. Hi, Dr. Nick. Will you take me to the power plant? Did I come? You made a bubble. Why can't I find a pair? Hey, hey! <laughs> oh, here we go. Shut up and drive. Whatever. So, anyway, after he gets cyber robbed, Homer tries to steal stuff from Ned's family to make things neat. Um... But Ned tells him that he doesn't... You don't have to live wife on a right out salary with stealing stuff, so... That was too easy. You drive worse than Mr. Teeny. <laughs> Hi, Mark. Mark. Hi, homie. I brought you some pork chops for later. I need to get... So anyway, uh, Homer and Mark tend to his, um, good. thingy, and it actually reveals that a lot of things can be changed. That's just... That's just low. Anyway. Anyway, um, so after learning what they can do to get a vacation, they actually end up saving a lot of money. Um, we learned. So what now? Would you like a receipt? Too bad. Finally, I thought we were never going to get here. It's rushing time! Warp speed! Okay, I didn't add to your life story. Thanks for me! Alright! Thank you for the lift. Let's go! I don't know, what's new? Got some sort of crack. Take me to the baseball diamond. I got a lot of money riding on a game. So anyway, Homer decides... So anyway, they decide to take a trip to, um... Oh, uh, there we go. Oh, right. I gotta stop. Thanks for the lift, Mac. So, anyway, we learned that, um, 
don't you understand? You understand me to learn that. They all want to go on different trips. Lisa wants to go to Paris. Bart wants to go to Transylvania. And Bart well, wants to go to Jamaica and Hawaii. You're pretty thrifty with a gauze, aren't you? In the caramel house. Anyway, so anyway, Homer, um, Homer for hire at your service. So anyway, they find out there's a trip to Japan, but Homer is neglectful of it. But when he sees the Flanders try to steal their vacation, they get and they a fire under Homer, and Homer takes his family and steals Flanders and his tickets. I knew that was toast. Six thousand dollars. Well, regardless, so Homer ends up. So they go to Japan. Homer ends up abusing the Japanese power of the sliding doors by just running through, just running through them instead of sliding the doors. Hey, hey, your rating is. Reckless. And then, you know, Homer and Bart get into a lot of trouble by interfering in a sumo tournament. So basically, they're thrown into jail. Mark has used almost all the money they have from Japan to uh, bail Homer and Bart out. And after Homer loses the last million yen in a pay for crane disaster, um, they find out that they can go on this family game show called Family Wish Show and they can get tickets to America. So they do, but not before experiencing why Japanese game shows are sometimes dangerous. There's this fitness expo, and Bart, trying to touch his toes, actually snaps his pants, splits his pants open, and Rainer Rollcastle has to plop a fat sticker on top of Bart. Bart gets harassed by his family, even Homer. So anyway, Ken Bachman reports that the parents can avoid this epidemic by um, enrolling the kids in football, peewee football. So Bart decides to go peewee football. Millhouse rather has had surgery than played peewee football. I'll make some cool hard cash. <laughs> Hi, Grandpa. Ah, a leprechaun. Do you have my pills? You got it. Get out of the car, man. I said, but you want to hang up. Oh, you're here already. What's up, Ralph? I tied my shoes together and fell down three times. I saw a flower and it yelled at me. Ah, no blame I screwed up. I have to go now. Please. If it isn't Reverend Lovejoy. Because it isn't the spawn of Satan. Take me to the power plant. Please. You got it. So, glad so anyway, Hallelujah. um... And the Flanders boys won for the football and home. And, 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 and Ned says it's a good idea. No problem. It'll stop him from urges such as girls. Oh boy, Ned. Are you realizing you're going to make Rod and Todd probably homosexuals? And where can I take you? Well, regardless, the Pee team is coached by Ned and he does pretty well. But Homer feels the need to harass him. Welcome aboard! Fine by me! So Ned finally gets... So Ned finally gets tired of Homer's antics and decides to make him coach. Ned. Oh, there, take me to the shopping mall. I gotta go to work at the left orient. No problemo. Where's the road? Oh, there it is. So anyway, um, so he does pretty well. 
Homer gets coached and decides to make Bart the quarterback after Marge tells him that you are never supportive. Welcome to your destination. You right, should be supportive like your father wasn't supportive to you. Hi, Mom. Why the so regardless of what happened, so regardless of what happened, so, so we learned that Bart, I mean, Abe was not supportive of Homer in his sport, rhythmic gymnastics. Oh boy. I don't know what to say about this. Hey, Bart. Well, it's about time. You got it. Get out of the car, man. And here's your tip. Stay cool. Then. So anyway, we learned about, and then Homer decides to encourage Bart more and be meaner to Abe. But Bart is so used to Homer being neglectful that he runs away from being hugged by Homer. Anyway, Homer is put in charge of the football team as quarterback. Even though Nelson does a great job, Bart, of course, loses the team the game and everyone tries to threaten him and say that the next time you lose, you're dead meat. Bart then decides to try to pull out of the game by faking the injury, but Homer rather forfeit the game. Here we are. Thanks for the lift. Well, what said he rather forfeit. Skinner. Bart, don't worry. We're both playing hooky today. To the power plant, please. Uh, anyway. Uh, those turbines are like poetry and motion. All oh, right, all right. Chill, man. Reckless and slow. Oh, I got the five seconds. Thanks. Uh, so glad to be a service. Thanks for the lift. Hey, no house. What's happening, man? Mm -hmm. Are you sure you know how to drive this thing? Everything. Coming up, no house. You got it. Can you take me to the power plant? The sound of the power generators comes in. No problemo. Glad to be in service. I thought I was slow. It's Otto. Hey, Otto man. Hey, Bart dude. Can you take me to the mall? There's a sale on Black Sabbath. Fine by me. So, anyway. Whoa. That's going to be costly. Oh, and I went the wrong way. Too. Don't have a car, man. I'll go for that. Wow. I screwed up. I went the wrong direction. And I'm gonna fall into the stream. Eight thousand bucks though. Not bad. So anyway, support support quits the team in frustration after Homer refuses to listen to him. And then he even tries to get a lesson from Joe Namath, who was a who was there, thank as a victim of circumstance. But Joe Namath is no help as he has to leave because his car was had a paper lock. And it was fixed. So anyway, Homer then learns, even though his team won the game, that he doesn't have anyone to share it with. It would definitely have been Bart. So he decides to go over to the Quickie Mart and find Homer, I mean Bart playing a cat fight game. So anyway, he tells Bart that he will never ever encourage him again because he was so full of rage from what Abe did to him. And Homer, Homer tells Bart, you can be a, you can be a good blocker, or a pleasant scooter. So anyway, Marge asks Abe if he's happy that Homer's coaching the big game, but Homer and Abe says, you may think so, but no. So anyway, Homer tries to devise strategies using the electric football game, and then when Chief Wiggum wants Nelson Munch's head because of a crime, Homer decides doesn't know what to do. Lose the third quarterback or play with another quarterback. And Bart says he'll take Nelson's spot in the police car. And thanks to that, Nelson drives in with the winning touchdown and Springfield wins the game. Bart thinks that it's just going to be a misdemeanor, but 
but two weeks and tells him it's arson and murder. He's going to be put away for a long time. Obviously, they must have made some corrections because Bart is out, is not in jail. I don't know. Alright, so this one will be Lisa. We're going back to Lisa for this match and her lectures. Now, I know this episode isn't really a good episode to actually talk about, but I might as well. It just came to mind first. It's when Lisa goes gaga. I believe it was season two, the end of season 21 when Lisa, when Lisa gets an award from her peers, least likable. And of course, Lisa has all these dictations. So she decides to make up a story about herself on a on a Facebook like on a Facebook group or something like that. But it ends up being blowing up in her face when Bart realizes that she made those comments herself. I have no idea you could drive so fast. Hi, Nancy. So, Willie, need a lift? Oh, Lisa, you're a lightsaber. And you wouldn't get him into work today. And you. So, regardless, so Lisa learns. So, thanks to Bart, she's now a black sheep. Really? And Lady so Gaga. For some reason, away from this den of iniquity to where I care not. Sure thing. Praise be the glory. So Lisa of God. gets hit. Lady Gaga, for some reason, finds out about Lisa's thing. Decides to try to make her like living better, but it doesn't seem to work. And all that. It seems like Lady Gaga is just doing it for herself. So basically, uh, Lisa. I say that's a new record. I don't see any music. Oh, that's Krusty. Whoops. Krusty the Clown. Give me and six other people. Hey, hey. So anyway. Sit back and leave the driving to me. So basically, um, Lisa finally learns that Gaga's chances of her. That Lady Gaga is making things worse than... <laughs> You're faster than Joey Heatherton. Thanks. And everything else. Isn't carpooling great? Hey, you know we're an honest cop and get a donut. You got it. So anyway, Lisa yells at Gaga saying that, you know what? The real troublemaker is her because she's making more trouble for Lisa than you think. And then Lisa tactically learns that she shouldn't hold things in, she should lash out. So anyway, she then decides to do that. Take me away from this den of iniquity to where I care not. Welcome aboard. So anyway, so Gaga goes back to where she came from. And everyone praises Lisa for actually getting rid of Lady. Troublemaker. Thanks for the lift. Grandpa. Grandpa, are you alright? Well, I know you. Do you have my pills? Welcome aboard. Oh, my middle Ah, uh, I thought I had it. I guess I didn't. Hurry up, but I'm young. Too late. Remember me? You're the worst driver since Sandy Bright. Got it. Work speed. You got it. Hey, but I'm surprised that Grandpa's stuff is actually not antip is antipated, but it makes sense. Five seconds. Thank you for the lift. Bumblebee man. You're doing great. No, it's for You got it. So yeah, I did this recent one. I know it was like 30 seconds, but you know what? It doesn't freaking matter. I feel sorry for Lisa sometimes because it seems like Springfield is full of dummies and they want to stay dumb. Hey, 
de su chofer. Muy bueno. Mil gracias. No. Hi, Ralph. Wait for Simpson. Will you marry me? At the power plant, I saw a flower. I think I talked about I love Lisa. Yeah, I did. Yeah, I did. Oh, no, honey. Because I need a little bit of a comeback. Close the call! No! Damn it! But I was just getting started! Ah, but $10,000 is not bad for the nuclear plants. 